Hello. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Jorgmungundr. Now, um, I'd say he or she is a very easy character. Um, this is as fast as possible, by the way. Um, but with the nerf that happened last year, sometimes people can be a bit intimidated and give up on Jorgmungundr. So I'm gonna do it as fast as possible, as fast as possible, and the best as possible. So you have a few options after your first attack. If you do another light, it'll be undodgeable. Do a light, and you can do that in any direction. But if you do a heavy, it'll be unblockable. Same with a heavy. Do a light right after. Most of all of his combos are two hits. If you do down with your left stick and your guard break button, you will do bash. His bad strain stamina, that's about all it does, unless you have your first feet in uh, Dominion matches, then it will give you health. Now, when your opponent's out of stam, he uh, has something called a hammer slam, which I'm sure you know of. Let me just drain my opponent real quick. Now, you can do that by either bashing them, or you can knock him to the ground the same right with the unblockable. Knocks your opponent to the ground and does your unblockable. If you're near a wall, get him over here. You can launch your opponent into the wall and get a wall splat. Not only that, his area also combos. So you can also do the area in the light. You can just area in the, the unblockable. Now, I think a good strategy to have with Jorgmungundr is to be more defensive, feed off your opponent's mistakes. The reason I believe this is because now uh, he drains more stamina. Well, he, he uses more stamina than he drains, in my opinion. Um, you want to do a lot of combos and feints and stuff like that, and that takes a lot of stamina, so it's hard to get your opponent's stamina down when they're just waiting on you. If you guard break your opponent, oh, guard break your opponent, and then hit your light attack button, you'll bash them in the gut and do some stam damage, um, which is useful when your opponent's out of stam, or they're right about to be there, so you can get your hammer slam in. So you really want to use a lot of these stam mix-ups to keep your opponent out of stam, but also keep them at bay. Just have a four dash heavy, which you can feint to a guard break. Not soft feint, just hard feint. But it'll catch a lot of people by that. He doesn't have any soft feint, sadly. This catches a lot of people too. And really, it's just about mixing up those bashes and, in my opinion, playing defensively. Although you can play however you feel like. Whenever you get it, we change. Whenever you, whenever you do get a parry, if you press your guard breaker right after, you can get a bash. Sorry, I wanted to hit me with a heavy. Which does lead to a combo. You see, that's a situation where I've used more stam than I'm draining, because I keep missing. Very slow character, it doesn't have a lot of reach. And that's just the bads about him. But as long as you keep that defensive posture, while at the same time being aggressive with your bashes to get that hammer slam, you'll be fine. You'll get your stamina back after a hammer slam too and it does a good amount of damage. And I think that's all I actually have for you on uh, your Gunner. And this is at least the fastest way possible I can think about it. Just, uh... Keep on putting pressure on your opponent, but also try not to put too much pressure on yourself. Alright. And bye.